This is RadioFire.com, Diamond K Morning Show. Thank you for joining me. Uh, of course, broadcasting from the Radio on Fire studios here in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, a lot of things going on today. A lot of things that we're going to get into. DJ Booby is going to be in the building uh, in the second half of the show. Uh, also, we're going to be talking about the uh, 2017 Baltimore Music Awards. We're going to talk about that. Uh, also, news stories of the day. Uh, just in, former NFL star, very troubled star, uh, Aaron Hernandez uh, hangs himself in prison. Uh, this happening today. The officials said that um, the you know former Patriots player committed suicide, convicted murderer. Uh, but you know when he was playing football, he was he was definitely uh, a force to be reckoned with. Um, just days after his acquittal in a double murder case, however, a prior conviction uh, had pretty much secured that he would not see the light of day. Twenty seven years old. This is a tragic story. A lot of people affected, um, as far as people that he, um, you know, killed. Uh, in addition to the trouble and turmoil that he put his own family through. Uh, but with a bed sheet uh, attached to a window in his cell, uh, he, you know, committed his uh, suicide. Uh, 3.05 a.m. today. Um, they attempted to save him. Uh, he was transported to the hospital, but pronounced dead at 4:07. Um, you know that's what that's what they're saying. Uh, he was alone in his cell in the general population wing. Hanged himself. Attempted to block his door from the in inside by jamming the door with various items. The uh, police are s investigating his death, but um, that's the way it goes. Um, this is. The death of Aaron Hernandez has got to, to mark one of the most dramatic falls from grace that I've ever seen. I mean, uh, it, it's, it's, it's ironic because this news comes the same day that many of his former teammates are visiting the White House as Super Bowl champions. So, I mean, you know, quite possibly, more than likely, had he not committed these acts that got him in jail in the first place, he would have been a part of the Super Bowl team. So I'm sure that, um, uh, you know, him serving this life sentence, um, it's, it's, it's ironic, uh, convicted of uh, murder in the uh, 2013 killing uh, of Odin Lloyd, a uh, semi-pro football player who was dating the sister of Hernandez's fiance. So whatever transpired, uh, so many people affected by that. And, um, you know, so his body, the body of um, uh, Lloyd being found, uh, you know, riddled with gunshot, um, uh, just you know, bullets and, and it, it's, it's, it was just a terrible, terrible thing less than a mile from the home of, uh, Hernandez. And, uh, we all remember, uh, that whole thing, um, him being charged nine days after the body was found, Patriots releasing him and just this downward spiral just continued. Uh, so this, uh, this is the end of, um, of that, uh, story, just a just a sad, sad state of affairs. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Diamond K Show, at Radio on Fire, Diamond K Morning Show, uh, 9 a.m., RadioOnFire.com, also YouTube, the Diamond K Show Live.